Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm in the off-grid RV today. I'm getting charged back up after we had some guests stay with 90 degree weather and clouds. It takes a toll on your battery bank. 2,000 amp hour battery bank, over 25 kilowatts in the off-grid RV. So this is gonna be the backdrop for today's video. So the topic of today's video is viewer driven, viewer requested. I had a viewer request a teardown of a 300 amp hour style RV battery. Uh, so here we go, a 300 amp hour lithium battery in an RV. Although this is not the brand the viewer requested, but Lee Pools is one of my preferred brands. And here's another sample set of Lee Pools that I'm running daily in the 48 volt system. Here we go, series pack uh, Lee Pools minis, big one alt cable, all that good stuff on them, Cyclone Daily. They deliver 104 consistently. Uh, just using a little lead time balancer on lead pulls batteries, but hey, good balancer, good batteries. So, I picked this battery up for a great deal back in May. And you can see I date all my batteries when they go into service. I actually start powering loads or getting charged daily cycling. So it's been over a month. So I figured, you know, why not help the viewer out, show them what a 300 amp hour uh, battery looks like. So I'm going to be using my Lee Pools as a sample. And one quick thing about the Lee Pools before I get into the video, I'm going to give you a tip and a trick for these batteries right here for Lee Pools. Uh, Lee Pools will put out some coupon codes on Amazon that are just too good to pass up from time to time. So just keep a check. If you see a battery like this that you want from Lee Pools, just check on your Amazon every day or every couple of days, especially on holidays and, and things like that. They will throw out some serious coupons. And sometimes you can pick up a 300 amp hour cheaper than a 200 amp hour. So just be aware of that. If you're considering one, you know, just, just price check. And eventually the coupon code will be there where you just can't pass up the deal. I'm going to put some protective coating on the floor, some cardboard or something like that. I'm going to slide it out of its cabinet. Uh, the ship weight on it was 67 pounds. I didn't put it on actual scale, but you know, minus the box and stuff, we're looking about you know 63, 64 pounds for that battery, which is about right because about every 100 amp hours weighs roughly 20 pounds. So you know that's right in line with with the weight that it should be. It's heavy, it's dense, but you know so far it's a great battery. I've got all the wires disconnected off the lead pulls now. Uh, big one and all Windy Nation cable, by the way. So uh, and I got the fuse fuses sitting back up here behind. So there it is. I have this little cubby hole over there. Got me some cardboard set down right here. Uh, so I'm going to do my magic and going to crack it open, see what's in there. So I'm kind of curious too if they use big 304 cells in here, if they did parallel sets, 100 amp hour cells in this big battery. So I'm going to find out together. Very difficult to get in this battery. I think I got it now where I can finish cracking it open. It appears that this one was epoxied together. Uh, so no polyurethane here, straight epoxy from what it felt like. So I guess we'll crack it open and see what happens. One little corner there, as usual. Uh, there we go, got that off. All right, what do we got going on here in the lee pools? Let me get that off to the side. I'll change camera position, get you a better view of it. As I thought, look at all that epoxy down the sides right there. So yeah, this one, uh, very difficult to get into. Uh, large BMS. Hey, it's okay. That's good to know. That is a 200 amp BMS. As per the manufacturer's statement, LiPool's statement, they claim a 200 amp BMS. That's what we got. And 200 degree jacketed eight gauge wires, four of them on the negative and four on the positive. Let's see, four number eights would be an effective gauge of number twos. So, okay, that's good because a lot of the batteries of 200 amp BMSs only have a number four, and this would be equivalent to a number two. And each one is, is open, it's not really technically open air because it's sealed in here, but each conductor is separate. So it dissipate heat better than a single large conductor. So that is good too. Uh, terminal connections are rock solid on this one. Nothing moving around. Um, nice webbed cover on this one for extra strength. Although I did manage to uh, crack it right there, trying to get it loose. Foam on the top for safety, compressing down. And we've got balance leads right there. Thermal switch, high temp thermal switch, which Lee Pools does not claim low temp. I was not expecting low temp. I know there's not low temp. 
Uh, these are good storage batteries for a conditioned space. Gonna put this outside somewhere it can hit freezing. This is not the battery for you. But if you've got a conditioned space, an RV that you're gonna keep warm in the winter, a conditioned powerhouse, insulated power shed, in a basement or whatever, you know, perfect battery for that. So let me see if we can look at the sales cause I'm just seeing this for the first time too. Checking everything out, every, all the alignment marks are still lined up. Everything is just rock solid tight in this unit right here. So uh, as far as the name or brand, I don't see a brand. Uh, custom contract, I'm assuming just for leap holes, but this is very similar to a Sihang technology. I think that's the correct pronunciation. Uh, BMS, uh, Sihang builds a lot of BMSs for OEM companies, things like that. So that's exactly what this one looks like. Uh, just going to have to assume that since there's not a lot of data on it, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So I got the corner of this epoxy board pulled up right here. I was kind of curious myself on this battery whether I was using four, you know, four 304 amp hour cells or if they were using 12 105s. Leapools is, is known to use 105 cells. So this appears to be their 105 cells right there. There's 12 of them. Uh, wrapped in foam, encased in foam, and compression all the way around. So nice looking cell pack, and I'll try to get you a shot over here of the bus bars and stuff on this side. Um, and the good thing about this 300 amp hour, you know, there's not much wasted space. There's just a tiny little smidge of foam on the ends and a tiny little smidge of foam right here. So, you know, you get the same footprint as a 200 amp hour battery, you get an extra 100 amp hours capacity. So, you know, that's, that's a benefit when you're in tight spaces like RVs and things. You know, the same footprint, get more more energy out of it. So let me flip you around. We'll look over here at the bus bars too. And one more thing while I'm on this side of the battery still, two layers of fish paper cell separator material between each cell pack. So very nice, very nice. And here's the negative bus bar connection right here. See, nice crimp lugs, hydraulic crimp right there. And then look at that thick bus bar going down through there. Try to get you a good shot at the top of the prismatic cells here at the bus bars right there you see them up against the side of the case there so it's definitely a laser weld on there there's not enough room for a bolted connection so that's as far as i'm going down into the pack because that's such a heavy cell pack i will not be able to overcome the weight of that pack and breaking the glue loose on the bottom because all these leap holes have a big bed of sealant in the bottom of them and sealant down the side these are wedged in there good and they're tight they're not moving around, so I cannot go any further into this pack without sawing through the case. And since it's my battery, uh, I'm not destroying it. Now, if you want to see one sawed into, hit me up on the email, send me one. I'll do whatever you want me to do with it, but uh, not this one. This, this one's got to be put back into service. So that's as far as I'm going, but let me check a couple more things, and I'll wrap it up for you. Hope you see that little glob of yellow back there on the BMS board. I'll put a little arrow right here for your convenience. That is the high temp thermal switch, bimetallic switch for the BMS leads right there. So it's got a bimetallic high temp thermal switch on the BMS and then the leads that come off right here are the high temp thermal switch leads for the cell pack. So we got high temp protection on the board and the cell pack. I'm glad to see Lee Pool's batteries are still quality. Uh, that's, that's why I use them. It's just a good workhorse general purpose lithium iron phosphate battery. You know, no frills, just a good workhorse battery. Can They can throw down some load. They got good capacity. We'll do a capacity test on this later. I need to get this system back up fully operational, get it charged up. So I've got some more guests coming in a few days. But the way I built this uh, RV system, I can isolate each battery individually. So I can run some tests on this in the future if you'd like to see it. But as far as capacity, the ones I've already got all deliver over 100. I don't expect anything different from this 300 amp hour. I say we'd go 303, 304 better. We'll test it. I promise you we'll test it coming up. But just a good good battery. And, and you know, the Lee Pool's 300. You can get this battery, like I did, a lot of times for less price than three 100 amp hour batteries. So keep that in mind. Check your sales. Sometimes you can get this battery for under 500 bucks for 300 amp hours of quality, you know, lithium battery. Appreciate everybody watching. Hope you have a nice day. Y'all be safe.